ancient legacies and teachings. Grandfather Sam is all the people have been for ever since there's been people, and not just people, but the plants and animals and insects. To get rid of a bit of our selfishness and to remember our proper belonging and ancestry that goes back beyond people, to our totems, to our animals and insects and plants and all the living things, uh, that we can't be so self-centred. Mother nurtures us and cares for us. It's our responsibility to give back. We started the day with a bit of a ceremony to pay respects to Grandfather Son and I think the big takeaways there is how much we have every day that supports us and that we don't necessarily always acknowledge or take action to appreciate. I think this country's had enough. The gullies are bleeding. Mm. They're like open wounds, the scars. The, the animals are going extinct. The plants are going extinct. The feral animals are going about sending things extinct. Animals that aren't endangered anyway. The Maloon Institute is all about healing country, really, with a focus on landscape rehydration and reinstating the hydrological processes that once operated in the Australian landscape. First of all, we're turning around a, uh, an eroding gully into one which is now a grading. It's now rebuilding, capturing sediments, uh, making its own sediments through the uh, organic matter that's being produced with all the vegetation growth. We're doing a bunch of planting with native vegetation to re-establish the, the natural vegetation communities that used to exist here. And we're also putting brush packs in, which are basically bundles of black wattle, uh, but we've won all of that material on the property as well. So those brush packs are gonna capture sediment and, uh, and help to build that gully back up again and help that revegetation process, the, the natural regeneration of the vegetation in the gully. I think Maloon is working towards something really special and I really appreciate the fact that Maloon is open to learning and taking on new ideas. It's not closed-minded at all and it's, it's using opportunities like this to improve that knowledge and add to it. It's been made possible by some very generous funding from the Capricorn Foundation and it's about bringing together the Back to Country group, which includes traditional owners, traditional Indigenous owners from the Yuan Nation. Today we've got about 30 volunteers helping to put more brush packs on top of places where brush packs had been placed about five years ago. I was getting to speak with Uncle Greg about how you deal with ecological anxiety because sometimes it just feels like the world's about to end. And it's just so important to give yourself that time and space to be on country and to plant and to get involved with um, being a part of the solution. As always, when we run workshops here, just a, a wonderful energy of humans, which are a very important part of the landscape. You know, the energy of humans in the landscape is a wonderful thing to see. It's been really fantastic, both to see not only the older people whose perspectives might have shifted over time and adapting some of these practices, but also all, you know, little kids, the newest generation running around and helping to do all these things is great to see and really promising for the work that is beginning and going to continue to happen. Thank you.